When you pay for your electricity, what are you paying for exactly? Like really, what are you really paying for? Well, for a start, the more you use, the more you pay for. I get that, bud. Okay. So it also depends on the contract you're on with your power company and all the other costs that go into your bill. I guess that makes sense. Now most of it is paying for stuff like your fridge, your heating, the hot water, your TV. Yeah, right? yeah, I get that too. But what am I really paying for? Okay, let me break it down for you. That's pie. Yes, it is. Now this pie represents the total cost of what you're really paying for. The biggest slice of the pie is generation. Like, you know, actually making the stuff. That's 32%. Oh, wow. Yeah, and because we're so far from anything or anyone else, we have to make all our own power. And not only do we make our own power, but most of it comes from renewable sources like hydro, wind farms, geothermal and solar. Wow, but don't we still use coal and gas? Yeah, that too, but not much. The thing with relying on the weather to generate electricity is it's completely unpredictable. So if we have a bit of a dry spell and we can't use as much water, or if the wind's not blowing, the type of generation we use will change. OK, so that covers about a third of it. What's next? They've made the stuff, right? Well, now they've got to get it to you. So the first bit of this is transmission, which is moving electricity around the country. You know, those big pylons you see next to the highway. That's another 10.5% of the total cost. And once they've got the electricity into your area, they've still got to get it into your house. So that bit's called distribution, and on average makes up another 27% of the cost. This part of the pie can vary depending on where you live. Some places are difficult to get electricity to, or there are fewer people to share the costs. Can I have some more pie, please? Sure. The next 13% covers the operating costs of the people who send your bill, the retailers. What do they do? Well, they're the organisations most of us deal with. They buy electricity from the generators and package it all up for us so we have a choice of different plans. So they pay for and manage everything we've just covered. Great. What choices do I have? Oh, there are a lot of good deals out there. Most people pay a daily rate and a rate for each unit of electricity they use, and the retailers worry about the ups and downs. And others choose plans where they pay a spot price for their electricity. So when it costs less to make electricity, they pay less. Now this all gets passed on to you along with GST, a small amount towards metering, and the Electricity Authority levy. Right. And what's the deal with the Electricity Authority? Well, they help regulate the whole shebang. And they help you benefit from innovation and choice, all while keeping our lights on, ensuring that everybody follows the rules. Whoa. You sure do know a lot about this stuff. Oh, yep. That's totally my bag. How did you learn all this? I found it on the internet. Check it out. Far out. Got any more pie?